What up, what up, what up? It's your boy AD back with another video and I'm bringing you guys a fast food roulette uh, video today. So a lot of people hit me up talking about, hey bro, like I'm always at work or I have different things going on, I don't have time to pack or I don't feel like packing a lunch for the week. So I'm actually gonna take you guys with me for my day today, but uh, what I'm gonna be doing is going to different fast food restaurants and then showing you guys the healthier options at these restaurants. Well, these uh, they're not always gonna be healthy meals, but they're healthier options. And I'm basing this on a 2000 calorie diet. So uh, you can still like if you're a person that's working out and stuff like that you can still lose weight because how you lose weight is just being in a calorie deficit so we're going to stick to 2,000 calories and then you're going to have the normal workout so i'm going to show you guys my workout and stuff like that but how we're going to do this today is i have my uh just cards app right here pretty much it just spits out a random card um every time i tap this you see right here it just spits out a, a random card um so then i did the fast food options that we're going to have today we're going to have jack in the box and then we're going to go to Wendy's, McDonald's, Carl's Jr., Chick-fil-A, Subway, Panda Express, Chipotle, Taco Bell, Burger King, and Arby's. Hope it doesn't land on McDonald's or Arby's because I don't like those places, but it is what it is. If it does, I'm going to show you guys the healthier options there. But like I said, I'm going to click this five times, and at the end of the five, whatever number this stuff lands on, so it goes one is aces and 11 is jacks, whatever it lands on, that's the spot I'm going to go to. And I don't know... So for that, I don't know what restaurant I'm gonna go to until it's time. So it's breakfast time right now. I'm about to head out and then I'm about to go to the gym and take y'all with me to do that. Uh, so I'm about to pick the first spot for the first uh, for the first portion of today. So let's get it. So we got right here, I'm gonna click this five times. Three. Bruh. Wow, McDonald's. After I just said I don't want to get McDonald's, I haven't had McDonald's in like since like high school. But um, whatever, we're gonna go to McDonald's for breakfast, and I'm gonna show you guys a healthier option there. So anyway, let's get right into it. I'll check back in with you. Let's go. And here we are in the whip on the way to McDonald's. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> like it's not like uh I'm not trying to be like a hipster or anything like that. I really just don't like McDonald's. I had like a bad history, it messes up my stomach. Well at least it messed up my stomach the last time I had it. Uh so yeah, it's breakfast time. Well almost damn near lunch. So I'm about to be kinda eating, going to work out, and then kinda eating again. But I'm just going doing this to show you guys uh what's going on like how to actually um how to actually find healthier options like i said like uh people always say like oh like it's kind of hard to eat healthy and stuff like that when you especially when you're not like oh you're not at home you're not able to prep your meals you're not able to do different things but you can always find healthier options at different spots that are not just salads like you do not have to just eat salads like that's a, a common misconception that people think is like uh, that you gotta eat salads all day to lose weight. So like I said, I was talking about the calorie deficit and stuff like that. If you're new to the channel, I'd like to say thank you for tuning in. Uh, but you don't have to, uh, so basically to lose weight, you just be, need to be in a calorie deficit. And uh, a calorie deficit is pretty much, you just consume less calories than you burn throughout the day. So that's why I'm sticking to a 2000 calorie diet. Uh, so a typical person, that's what the average, they average it up between all humans about 2,000 calories for the day that they uh, everybody burns uh, so if you do physical activity and stuff like that that increases your stuff 2,000 calories is what you burn for the day like if you just don't get out of bed and that's not for everybody so don't take my word as born like as bond like it's not gonna be word as bonds because people have like 1,500 calories that they burn for the day naturally or 1,200 calories there's that but then conversely there's people that burn 2,500 calories or 2,700 calories now I'm talking a lot right now, so I know some people are gonna skip through this, but uh, yeah, so basically to lose weight is you gotta be in a calorie deficit. So if you uh, type of person that burns 2,000 calories a day, just say you burn 2,500 with your activities, like with your running, your basketball, your working out, you burn 2,500. If you stick to a 2,000 calorie diet for the day, that puts you in a 500 calorie deficit. And with that 500 calorie deficit, you will lose one pound of fat per week, uh, per week because one pound of fat is a roughly 3,500 calories. So that's how they estimate it like that. That's the calculations I use along with uh, calculating everything that uh, I'm eating for the day. So I'm gonna show that as I'm eating or as I buy this stuff 
uh, what basically the calories are for it, what's the fat, what's the protein, what's everything like that. So as well, I'm gonna be headed to like some rest stops as well, so like some 7-Elevens or something like that as well to get like just different things. So yeah, we're gonna head to this McDonald's and I'm gonna check back in with y'all when I get this McDonald's or when I get there. All right, peace. Hi, are you guys still serving breakfast or just lunch? No, yeah, we have all day breakfast, which is oh, do? Uh, burritos, hotcakes, or muffins. Uh, what do you guys have? Uh, you have muffins? What type of? Sausage muffin, egg muffin, sausage egg muffin. Can I get a sausage egg McMuffin, please? Anything else? That's it. Okay, four six six breakfast. Window. All right, thank you. All right, so sausage egg McMuffin. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right, and let me get on my chains because I got my chains sitting in my lap right now. But uh, yeah. All right, so I just got a uh, just a sausage egg meat muffin. Um, that's cool for the thing. I'm about to go to this uh this little gas station right quick across the street, and then I'm gonna get something else with it. Cause like I said, you're just getting a meal. Like that's our thing. Is like we always gotta get like two sausage egg muffins or if you go to somewhere like you got to get two of everything just get one of that don't get the hash brown because the hash brown is good although it's good or fries are good uh that, those are just wasted calories right there so you just get like a sausage egg muffin call it cool so that's what i got for mcdonald's and then i'm about to come to this rest stop and actually get something out of here like a protein bar and a fruit and make this kind of a whole meal for breakfast before i start this workout so anyway i'm about to go hop in this uh store right quick and then uh, i'll be right back all right Tried. i already took the first bite it's good like it, it wasn't bad like mcdonald's wasn't bad it was just what it did to my stomach afterwards um so yeah i really ain't had this piece like literally since like 2012 2013 it's crazy But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Pretty nice breakfast. Um, protein bar and stuff like that. So I'm actually gonna um, yeah, pretty nice and everything like that. I wish I can zoom in on this camera and show you guys the mountains because the mountains look nice from right here. But surprisingly, in Washington, we're having a good day today. Um, uh, not raining. It hasn't been raining for a while, uh, like a few days, which I'm happy about. I fucking hate when it rains. Excuse my language, but I just hate when it rains. Because especially out here, like, it don't rain for one day. Like, it be raining for, like, 20 years, bro. Like, it'll literally, like, rain for a whole week straight. We have, like, two good days and no rain, and then it'll rain another fucking week and a half straight. So, yeah. Crazy. All right, so this is done. Time to mash this protein bar. Should not be putting my mouth on it, especially because it was fucking in the store, but it is what it is. Got it open, nice little protein bar. It's not bad, it's like one of the better tasting protein bars. Like it don't taste like chalk or whatever. Like some of these protein bars be tasting horrible. Like that, uh, what is it that called the, uh, like the ultimate protein cookie or something like that with the dudes with the afro on it? That is the most disgusting cookie I've ever, like, just the most disgusting pastry I've ever tasted. Like, that stuff don't taste like a, a what's called, the ultimate cookie or something like that. I'm gonna put up the little thing next to it when, um, when I'm talking about this, but that cookie is disgusting. People be, like, praising that stuff. Like, that stuff is nasty. I've had, like, three different brands, like, so it wasn't just one. That shit all was disgusting. All right, math, I'm done. Let's go to the gym and knock out this workout so I can see what's going on for lunch. Like I said, I still don't know what I'm gonna be eating until um, I pick the car game. So that was McDonald's for one, that was lunch. I mean, breakfast, pretty much lunch now, but whatever, it's breakfast. And I'm gonna check back in with y'all in a second. So let's get it. All right, hopefully the light is not too bad in here, but uh, I'm here now, I'm getting started, getting warmed up and everything like that. So I can see right here, let me pull up. Yep. 
So yeah, I'm about to get ready to run, warm up and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna do my work down here. Over here, it keeps going all the way down three rooms. But I gotta get a warm up in first. I don't wanna pull anything, especially right now, my groin not feeling the best right now. My hips are a little tight too. So I definitely gotta get a few laps up here right quick. And then I'm about to get down there and then yeah. So let's get it. Alright, so this camera about to die, but uh, I'm done with my first session. Uh, that was just a running session, quick feet, fast agility session. Uh, I'm not really hungry because I dead ass just ate. I mean, like, you guys don't notice it, but like, it's only been like two hours, two hours, two and a half hours, and I'm not really hungry. But uh, just for the sake of video, I'm gonna get it going. Um, yeah, so I'm about to go put the rest of my stuff in here. I'm about to do the roulette in the core, and then that's gonna be the next place. Oh, there's only one place that I'm not going to if uh, it lands on it because it's already 45 minutes out the way and i don't want to drive 45 minutes there and come 45 minutes back just to work out again uh but the rest of them if it lands on it i'm gonna be true to my word and go for it so anyway let's uh get to this car and see what's up all right so i'm back in the car now uh like i said uh we're gonna go uh, do the second one of roulette so i got my just cars app up and running hopefully you guys can see that i don't know why it's looking weird right now but i got the just cards app up i got the tablet ready right here um so i'm gonna mark it off we already went to mcdonald's this morning um surprisingly my stomach's not hurting so that's a good deal the only place we're not gonna go to if uh lands up is right here wait did i take it off no right here carl's jr number four Carl Jr. is about 45 minutes, an hour away from here, and I don't want to drive an hour to go to Carl Jr. an hour back, um, so I'm just marking that off, although I wouldn't mind going there um, and stuff like that. But yeah, so like I said, it's five taps, and whatever one it is, we're about to go to it. So let's see. Let's go. So tap, that's one, two, three, four, five. So number five, Chick-fil-A. That's kind of four, but hey, let's go to Chick-fil-A right now. So... Um, we're heading to Chick-fil-A. Um, I got my battery pack over here charging. I went through already um, two batteries for this. That's how 
fast as GoPro eats up stuff. But yeah, I guess we're going to go Chick-fil-A. Uh, definitely a good option there. Good, some good, multiple good options there. I, like I go there on a regular, like the, these places, uh, fast food restaurants, I really don't go to like Jack in the Box. I haven't been to in a few months. Uh, Wendy's haven't been either. McDonald's, I told you, I haven't been there in years because of situations. Carl's Jr., about a few months, actually about a year, actually, I haven't been there. Chick-fil-A, um, I'll, I'll go there like maybe once a month, once every two months or something like that. But yeah, so yeah, I know exactly what to get there. I don't have to look at their menu. I know exactly what to get there. But yeah, I'm going to just uh, show you guys when I get there. So let's get it. Peace. So we're here at Chick-fil-A. Uh, drive through, I guess. Nobody wants to. We can't go in. Nobody likes to go in. Uh, so I'm looking right now. I'm good, how about you? I'm good, can I get a name for your order? Adrian. Adrian, alright. What can I get started for you today? Uh, can I just get a grilled chicken sandwich? That's it? Just uh, a sandwich? It's no just meal? a sandwich, no, no meal, and uh, no tomatoes. No tomatoes. There's lettuce as well. Alright, no tomatoes. Okay, what else can I get for you today? And that's it. Actually, can I get a water with that? Water? Yeah. Alright. Uh, bottled water or just a cup of water? Just a cup of water. Alright, small, medium, or large? Uh large yeah. right. what else can i get for you today sit all right would you like any sauces for today no all right so we have a grilled chicken sandwich no tomato large water yeah yeah awesome you said a grilled sandwich with no tomato and a large water right? yeah so, is that receipts for you man yes sir you guys are doing it different now you guys don't let people in anymore right now you guys aren't letting people inside any uh right now not until the end of the month I think we, we can get people in here and we're gonna be dining in. Okay, okay, cool. I mean, technically we could right now, but I don't know why. It's all good. It's just convenient for them. Yeah, I mean, I guess you guys get to enjoy the nice weather yeah, for I finally. Do. Have a good one. But you too. So I just got one grilled chicken sandwich right now, uh, which is because I'm not hungry because I just ate, like literally. Um, but I would usually get two of those and that would be uh, 640 calories right there but like each sandwich only has the 320 six grams of fat 41 grams of carbs 28 grams of protein so you double that right there and you're basically getting 60 grams of uh protein off of one meal and 600 and some calories like that's a good meal good alternative you don't have to get the tr crispy chicken sandwich or whatever from here you don't got to get all the fries i know the fries and stuff is good but you don't have to get it from there yeah Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Uh, quick. I'll drop this water around me. Uh, all right. That was actually way quicker than I thought. I ain't going to cap because I seen the line. I was like, bro, this is about to be forever. So actually I found out they did give me a scroll. But let's open this piece up. Open this bad boy up. Oh, yeah. I'm say he oh, but, 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 but yeah. It's a nice little sandwich. Nice little sandwich. It looks dry or whatever, but hey. It's good. So yeah. Oh man, oh man. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you though. Water's hitting more than this food right now. Cause I am thirsty. A few moments later. So I plugged it in, so I just got finished eating. I plugged it in uh, that we have right here. So we have our McDonald's English muffin. That was 450 calories. And then I have my protein bar, which was 120, uh, 280, my bad. So I left 730 calories for breakfast. And then I just had my grilled Chick-fil-A sandwich, which is 320 calories right there. If we go to my macros, I'm looking at 69 grams of protein for the day, 102 uh, grams of uh, carbohydrates, nine fibers, 28 sugars, 
fat, 42 uh, grams of uh, fat, and then the rest of it right there. Um, fat's kind of high right now already, but it's whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to uh, get this beef jerky in there. So let, let me actually just plug that beef jerky in right quick. So I'm gonna eat the beef jerky as well. And then, um, yeah, so I got the sweet and spicy. So that's 240 calories right there. So we're looking at lunch. 560 calorie lunch right there. That's a good for a good burger and I'm about to kill this entire pack of beef jerky right here. Single pack, 10 grams of, uh, 10 grams of protein per serving. And there's three servings in there, so it's 240 calories. So I'm about to um, mash that as well. So then we're doing pretty good. I'm only looking and, and this means I can have like a generous dinner, like uh, along with snacks. Like if I wanted to, I can go get a snack or something like that. But I'm looking at a decent day so far. I am gonna have to get something high protein. So I'm hoping um, the next spot we go to is gonna have something high protein on the menu. But if it doesn't, we're just really we're really aiming for calories right now, especially if you're the type of person that wants to lose weight. Um, calories is your big thing. Uh, there's different ways you can do it, um, but we're just focusing on calories right now. I'm trying to focus on uh, getting stuff that hits my macros as well as the calories so I can kind of do both. But um, when I first started doing the weight loss journey, I was just focused on calories. I really wasn't focused on hitting my macros, which we're just showing you how to lose weight on fast food diet or uh not a fast food diet, but if you can't always get out and uh, meal prep yourself for the week and you have to go out because you're always gone, then these are good, healthier alternatives that uh, that you can do while you're on the road. Um, so yeah, I'm about to eat this beef jerky. I'm sitting at 99 grams of protein when I do all of that. And yeah, I'm about to mash this and then I'm going to check back in with y'all probably when I hit the gym again. So let's get it. All right, we're back in the gym now. So I have my Chick-fil-A, as you guys see. Uh, I've been chilling in the car for about an hour, letting my batteries charge up so I don't have to deal with dead batteries throughout this whole uh, workout. Uh, but anyway, I'm starting my back workout, back and shoulders. Uh, I'm, it is a D-low week for me, so I'm not going to be going as heavy. Just working on little form stuff and stuff like that, as well as I'm nursing the shoulder as well. So the D-low week came at a perfect timing because uh, I didn't mess up my shoulder uh, the other day and it's been kind of nagging me. So yeah, it is back and shoulders. I am going to montage this video, not keeping it too long because the primary purpose is going to be for you guys to see the healthier options at these restaurants. But anyway, uh, so I don't get copyrighted for this music. I'm going to hurry up and just let this shit roll. So let's get into it. Hey!
just like that, I'm done for the day. I'm done with my workout. Um, we still got one more restaurant to go to on this roulette. Uh, but I'm gonna try to get some shots up right now. They're running the game. Uh, I'm still, as you can see right here, they're running the game. I'm still in my running shoes. Like I'm not even going to the car to get my hooping shoes. I'm gonna run like one or two games max. And then we're about to go do the rest of this roulette. And then I can finish up uh, for the day to show you all just healthy options. Uh, but thank you so far for rocking with me. I appreciate you guys so far. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's get ready and you'll see how it's gonna look. This one might look hella ugly because I just got done doing back. I'm not even gonna take a shot before I get on the next game. I'm just about to run, so this should be fun. But, all right, I'll see you guys in a second. Um, back in the car, got my just uh, just car app ready to go, and uh, got the choices right now. So we we got right here, Jack in the Box, Wendy's. Uh, Chick Fil A is off the table, so we're gonna actually mark that, mark that off. Chick Fil A is off the table, so now we got Subway, Panda Express, Chipotle, Taco Bell, Burger King, and Arby's. Uh, so that's what we got next. Uh, so let's get it. Just cars out, ready? In three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Ace, Jack in the Box. So looks like we're going to Jack in the Box. So it looks like we're going to Jack in the Box. That's gonna be the final meal for the night. Uh, I don't, not too familiar with their menu actually. I mean, like, like I said, I go there a little bit, but I know what I'm usually getting and it's not healthy. So I gotta look at their menu right quick. Uh, but I'm gonna look up their menu right quick and then we're about to go to Jack in the Box. And then yeah, that's gonna conclude the night. All right. All right, so I'm here. Look it up right there. So I'm getting that grilled, ch uh, the chicken teriyaki bowl. Uh, that's what I'm gonna get if they don't have it. Um, then I'm gonna try to do that sourdough grilled chicken club. So let's see. Bro, it's kind of funny because I turned off the uh, the camera and stuff like that. And she kept asking me, she was like, are you sure that's it? That's it? Are you sure you just want the teriyaki bowl? I was like, yes fam, just give me the teriyaki bowl. Like, they were surprised that I just said, let me get the teriyaki bowl. That was kind of funny to me, but. It is what it is. It is what it is. Just gotta tell her, it is what it is. So let's get it. So this is teriyaki bowl. It is small, but it seems all right. These are like basically one of these Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls that I be getting at home. Um, it's cool. Not bad at all. I mean, you could tell it's like one, it's like one of them like Hawaiian bowls that you can get. They come in like a pack of twelve. You can get like anywhere, Costco, Safeway, anywhere. That's what this really is. Got a TV dinner at the freaking at a fast food joint. But yeah, um, it's not bad at all. Now, is this something I would get? Probably. Probably. Like, if I say, like, yo, I'm seriously trying to watch what I'm eating, then, yeah, I get this again. But usually when I go Jack in the Box, it's like, you know you're not going to get anything healthy. But like I said, the whole point of this video is just show you guys. I know I sound like a broken record, but just show you guys the healthier options out there. But anyway, I'm not going to be keep smacking on camera. I know people want to skip through people smacking on camera. I know when I do when people start smacking on camera. So let me mash this. Once I get finished, I'm going to show you guys a tally of what all today ended up to. And then, yeah. So stay tuned. All right, just like that, I'm done. See, it was uh, pretty good. I mean, it wasn't the best teriyaki bowl, but it was pretty good. Get the job done. Like I said, healthier options and stuff like that. So we got that done for the day. It's been a long day, so um, yeah. Had my two a day today, it was a good day. Uh, McDonald's probably could have got something different than Egg McMuffin, but it was it's whatever. Honestly, it wasn't even the Egg McMuffin I really did. It was that protein bar. Cause that protein bar was a lot of protein. I mean, a lot of uh, calories for not a lot of protein. I mean like, yeah, 20 grams of protein is cool, but there's other better options to get protein out there. Especially like the beef jerky that I got was 240 calories and I had 30 grams of protein versus 
the protein gram, uh, protein bar I had that had that was 280 calories and only um, 20 grams of protein. Um, so I'm about to wrap this up for the day um, and stuff like that. We're gonna look at my because I've been tracking everything so far. We're doing a wrap up. So it's looking like uh, right here. Oh, real quick, let me see. All right, so uh, my goal is 2,500 calories for the day, but I'm just showing you guys, I'm sticking to the 2,000 calories for this video. So you can see right here, I finished the day with 1920. That's the, what I finished off with. So we're gonna go do a recap breakfast. I had the sausage egg McMuffin, that was 450 calories. Then I had the builder's protein bar, that was 280 calories, like I said. So that brought me to a total of 730 calories for the uh, day. Then we're gonna go to lunch. I had the Chick-fil-A, the grilled chicken sandwich uh, from the website. So that said 320 calories. Uh, and then I had the beef jerky that was 240 calories for that entire pack. So that brought me to 560 calories. That's a good lunch. Uh, dinner time, I had the, just a teriyaki bowl, 630 calories right there. Um, so yeah, that's what that says for that. We're going to look at the kind of the macros for the day. So protein. Uh, uh, 133 grams of protein, pretty decent. Uh, got 226 grams of uh, carbohydrates. My fibers, I uh, only got 15 grams of fiber, but uh, it's all good. My sugars, I didn't go over for sugars. And that's actually surprising going out like that. You can see the healthier options. I haven't even hit my fat goal for the day, so that's pretty good. And just going through the rest, I mean, I really don't pay attention to monounsaturated, polyunsaturated, trans fat, zero, zero. So that was good today. Cholesterol kind of went over. Sodium, I always go over that anyway. Um, but potassium, I need to get some more potassium. So a, a nice banana would have done would have done today. Would have done good today. So I'm going to go home and probably get one of those. But this is just showing for on the road. I pretty much... Uh, pretty much was close to the macros that I needed for the day. So as you guys can see, that was the wrap up and stuff like that. So yeah, like I said, in every restaurant, so sound like a broken record, you can find the healthier option. You don't have to, our, I think with our society, our downfall is going to be the portion size. We're always trying to get two, three, four burgers or two or three, four sandwiches instead of getting just one. Like I could have got a meal with each one of those and actually uh, if I sat down and looked at the menu, I could have dissected it and got something even healthier and got a whole meal, got a lot more to eat than uh, what I did. But I was just showing you guys just one or two options with you can play around with where you don't have to go over. Like when I ate lunch, I mean, when I ate breakfast this morning, it sounded like it wasn't good. When I, I mean, it wasn't like a, a lot because I had just one English muffin and then the protein bar. But to me, that was cool. Like for what I eat for the day, that's cool. Uh, lunch that one sandwich and then the beef jerky that was my that's a typical meal for me if like that's a typical lunch for me so like i'm used to when i was wasn't in the um doing my fitness stuff that would have been a, like a little bit and i would have been hungry uh, hungry again but for me that's a typical meal just one sandwich and some beef jerky or one sandwich and something else like a protein bar or different type of protein bar or a protein shake i'm a protein shake guy so i had a protein shake that or I'd have had two of those sandwiches, like I said, if I was hungry. Could have got two of those. That would have been 640 calories and um, some other stuff. So, like, even I can break it down and just show you guys where all my uh, stuff was coming from. So, my breakfast, like, looking at my protein right here, 41 grams of protein. Uh, 41 grams of protein for breakfast. My lunch, I got 58 grams of protein. My dinner, I only got 34. Um, So, I can easily do that. I could have bumped that up to, uh, for 58 grams of protein. And I could have had, what was that, an extra 30 on top of that. So I would have had an extra uh, 80. I know it's kind of dark in here, stuff like that. So I hope you guys can see me and run, I'm not running my mouth in the dark. But I could have had 80 grams of protein for lunch if I'd have had two sandwiches and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, that is the video for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, drop a comment down below, just your favorite part or what you think I should touch on that I missed or anything like that. And like I said, if you enjoy these videos, I can definitely do a part two fast food roulette. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to pack it up now and get ready to go home and stuff like that. Get Take a shower and stuff like that. I'm done for the day. Um, but yeah. Before we leave, you know what I'm going to have to ask you to do. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notification. Well, shares with your people. I'm trying to grow this 80 Fitness family. The only way we can do that is by more icing the video. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.